Cote. So, um, college, sporting my college day, Laramie, Wyoming. You dub. I want to go through my top five favorite glute building exercises with you guys. And then two, you guys, check out this view. This is cool. So I'm using my little camera system that I'm still trying to figure out. Ooh, I'm losing my voice. Look at that view. Like, seriously, guys, I can't even tell you how picturesque it looks right now. This is South Dakota. Welcome to South Dakota. So first and foremost, before we go through anything, always, always, always warm up. And that can be jump rope, that can be hill taps, that can be walking on the treadmill. Always remember to warm up your muscles before you, type, you try to do any type of exercise. Um, and I can actually, one of these times I'll do like a quick warm up routine for you guys so you guys can see actually what I do. And I do the same every warm up. I'm a creature of a habit. But let's just dive into it. So who's excited? I'm excited to teach you guys. By the way, Putella. I love my Putella. All right, I'm just gonna voice record over this so you guys can hear me. Um, you can't really hear me that well in the video. So first I wanna talk about how to do a proper dumbbell deadlift. Um, first, you wanna stand with your feet hip width apart, holding the dumbbell in front of your hips, palms facing your thighs, which you can kinda tell as I'm talking about it in the video. Next, you wanna squeeze your shoulder blades together to keep your spine in a neutral position. Make sure you inhale, and then first hinging at the hips, then knees to lower the dumbbell along the front of your leg. Make sure you pause when your torso is parallel to the ground. Lastly, you wanna exhale and drive through the midfoot to returning to standing position. Make sure you maintain a neutral spine and keep the dumbbell close to your body throughout this whole entire move. Fully extend hips and knees and squeeze glutes at top as you can see in video. All right, next we're gonna talk about proper form for a step up. Um, in the video, as you can tell, I'm stepping up onto a cooler, but you can step on a bench, chair, whatever you have available. Just make sure it's steady and not wobbly. Also, I'm not using dumbbells in the video, but you can add dumbbells to increase the intensity of this movement. So first you wanna step up with your right foot. Press through the heel to straighten your right leg. Make sure you bring your left foot to meet your right foot on top of the step or cooler in my case. Bend your right knee and step down with your left foot. Bring your right foot down to meet your left foot on the ground. That would complete the motion and then you repeat on the other side as you squeeze through your glutes at the top. I got a little wobbly there. All right, next move, coming in hot. All right, the third movement is goblet squat. A lot going on here. So I'm just gonna highlight the hand position. Please pay attention to the description below. It's gonna go more into detail. As you can tell right there, I'm talking about knee placement. So first and foremost, you wanna start out with is I'm using a 35 pound dumbbell. You can use a kettlebell for this move too. You cup your hands on each side of the dumbbell on one side. And I wanna highlight, you wanna make sure it's placed in the center of your chest before you begin, okay? And then also pay attention to my head movement. You wanna keep your head and your eyes, or your head looking forward. You never wanna look down or up on this movement. All right, the fourth move is a curtsy lunge or a dumbbell curtsy lunge. In the video, I'm just doing a regular curtsy lunge without any kind of weight. So let's dive into it. So the first step is you wanna stand with your feet hip distance apart and let your arms fall at the side. Second step is draw a semicircle with your right foot, move it clockwise until it crosses behind your left foot. The third step is to lunge down as deep as possible, hovering your knee a couple of inches off the floor. The fourth step is as you slowly return to standing curtsy position, you wanna make sure you're squeezing your glutes through this movement and then repeat the lunge on the other side. Also in the video, I was just talking about how you can add a shoulder press or a bicep curl to your curtsy lunge. The last move is dumbbell hip thrusters. I slowed this down quite a bit just so I could get this in there, but I don't have a lot of time in the video. Pay attention to all the details below. Is my top five booty popping exercises. Hope you enjoyed. I better get my kids fed and figure out where my husband's at. But 
Real fast before I go, check out this sun. Say hi, Jasper. So we are peacing out from beautiful South Dakota.